Greetings, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to another shelf isolation video with me, Alicia, where I recommend children's books for you to read while the library is closed, suggest some activities you can do at home, and tell bad jokes. So today uh, we are having a Harry Potter day. Did you know that on Library To Go, the first book of the Harry Potter series is available right now with no restrictions, so no wait lists. Um, everybody can read it at the same time. Um, and it's even available in a bunch of different languages and in audiobook format too. So if you've had Harry Potter on your to read list for a while, now is the time. Go get it. Today's joke is for people who have already read Harry Potter, though, and it goes like this. How do you get a mythical creature into your house? Through the Gryffindor. Ah. So once you're done reading Harry Potter, what else can you read? So I'm going to recommend some other chapter books that you can give to young magic fans in your life who might be done with Harry Potter and just looking for something else to read. Um, the first books that I always recommend to kids who are done with Harry Potter and want something else are the books by Rick Riordan. And there are tons of them. He's written several series and many of them are available to read on Library to Go. Um, I would start with his first book, The Lightning Thief. And this book is about a young boy named Percy Jackson who discovers that he is descended from the Greek god Poseidon. And he's taken away to a special school for kids like him who have similar mythological ancestry. Does that sound familiar? Um, but the book is more than just Harry Potter with a mythological twist. Um, it's close enough, though, that I haven't met many kids who don't enjoy both series. Uh, and Rick Riordan has also written series based on ancient Egyptian and Norse mythology, so they're kind of a gateway into um, having kids be interested in mythology and world mythology and ancient history, which is kind of fun. A little sneaky education in there. And recently, Rick Riordan has been using his immense popularity to sort of signal boost other authors from various backgrounds who are writing their own mythology-inspired adventure stories. So under the Rick Riordan Presents imprint, um, these stories include books about Mayan, Indian, Korean, and a whole bunch of other mythologies who are all and are all written by authors from those backgrounds as well. And there are more coming out all the time, so I highly recommend them for something a little bit different. My next book series is actually older than Harry Potter, though it shares some similarities. The first book in the series is called So You Want to Be a Wizard by Diane Duane. And a series is available on Freeding. I remember reading it when I was a kid, so that dates it a little bit. Um, and it's about a girl who finds a book in her school library called So You Want to Be a Wizard. It's stuck in there with all the career books, like So You Want to Be a Plumber, So You Want to Be an Electrician, and right in there, So You Want to Be a Wizard. And she's intrigued, so she picks it up. And from there on, she's thrown into the, this magical adventure of a lifetime. Um, there's no magical schools for wizards in these books. The characters have to figure out their magical abilities kind of on their own as they go. And the series is a little bit, a little bit darker and a little bit weirder than Harry Potter as well, but I really enjoyed it. My last recommendation is another one that I read as a kid, I admit, um, and it's basically any fantasy books by the author Tamora Pierce. She's written several series and most uh, all of them feature strong girls and women in leading roles, and we have the first book of most of those series in Library to Go, and today I'm going to recommend her Protector of the Small series and the first book is called First Test. And this series takes place in a medieval style setting where many of her series take place. Um, and in this kingdom, 
Um, until recently, only men were allowed to train to become knights. Um, that prohibition was recently lifted, but so far no women have stepped forward to train as knights until our main character, Kel, takes the plunge. And she soon finds out that even though technically women are allowed to apply and to train, um, there are still a lot of barriers and unfair treatment that she has to put up with. But she is determined and she does not let anything stop her even when everything is stacked against her. This is a really action-packed series um, that deals with themes of bravery and friendship and perseverance. Kel and a lot of the other leading characters in Tamora Pierce's books are really great role models. Um, so I highly recommend all of her books for any kids who like fantasy, girls and boys alike. Tamora Pierce's books do contain some romance, and frank discussions about periods and sexuality. So I usually recommend it for preteens and younger teens. Um, I read them in grade eight uh, and they were perfect for me at that age. Our activity today is kind of Harry Potter themed, um, making magic wands out of pencils. So if you've got a pencil at home, and a little bit of paint, you are all set. If you have a hot glue gun, you can make it really cool. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use some string or anything that you can attach to the pencil to give it some texture and dimension. And what you do is you just either take, um, take the hot glue and um, put it on the pencil, kind of winding around the pencil, or whatever else you have that you want to kind of glue on there like string or anything like that and then you just paint it up with some paint to make it look like a wand and they actually come out looking pretty good um needless to say if you're using a hot glue gun this is one that adults are going to need to help with a lot and be really careful with um but i just love the idea of making wands out of pencils so give that one a try see what you think um, hope you're all having a good week and enjoying the sunshine, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.